Today's lesson is going to look at ratios. So this is our first lesson on ratios. So I'm going to show you an example from our book. And you're going to see here that the ratios are a comparison of two quantities. Now earlier, I wrote down that it's a way to compare one part of a whole to a different part of a whole. Basically, it's like comparing two separate things. Okay. So if we look at this example here, we have a whole bunch of shapes at the top here. And it's asking you the ratio of moons to circles. Well, there are two moons and there are six circles. So we would do the same thing for the next one, triangles to moons. So triangles, we see that there is only one triangle and we know that there are two moons. So there would be one to two. So we would write that, that ratio like this, one to two. We'll do ratio of stars to squares. So stars, we see that there's one, two, three. So there are three stars. And squares, one, two, three. So this ratio we would say is even. There are three stars and three squares. That's an even ratio. Squares to circles. Well, squares we know there's three because we just counted three. And circles... Well, we know that there were six because we already did that. So for every three squares, there are, sorry, for every, yeah, for every three squares, there are six circles. Okay, if we go squares to moons, squares, we know that there are one, two, three. So you'd write this as three. And moons, there are one, two. So three to two. And the last one is squares to figures. So figures means all of them. So there are one, two, three squares. And the total figures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's how you would do, that's how you would write a ratio. Now I want to look at this one over here. This one was squares to moons. Okay, so squares, there were three, moons, there were two. So I'm going to remove the book for now. But I want to have a look at this one. So we knew that there were three squares and two moons. Okay, based on this ratio, we know that there were five total objects that we were looking at. So this is just like a fraction. How many of them were squares? Well, we would write three-fifths. And how many of them were moons? Well, it would be two-fifths. So now what we do in ratios, we're just basically comparing the numerators. That's all we're really doing. Okay. I don't like this example here, so let's ignore it for now. But that's what all of these are doing here. So this comparison was one to two. How many total objects were compared here? There were three. One to two. So I'm really just looking at that right there. Okay, let's look at a sports example right now. So in sports, we see a ratio all the time. And that ratio is wins to losses. So for the Raptors here, 58 wins to 24 losses. In this case, it doesn't matter if the top, the first number is bigger than the other one. In this case, it doesn't matter at all. But we are able to determine how many total games they played. And we know that they've played 82 games. That's how many games are in a basketball season. So they won 58 of 82. So these are the W's. And the L's, the losses, are 24 of 82. But really, we are comparing this here. And that's what you see with ratios. Okay. If we had to pick a team, like we take the Detroit Pistons, for example, here. This season, they ended up with 41 wins. 41 wins, 41 losses. So basically, for every one game they win, they lose a game. Okay, so that is how we would write this fraction. 41 to 41 or 1 to 1. It's the same thing. Okay, I'm going to give you another example here. What I want to show you is I want to go back to the sports example. Uh, let's just... Pretend that we're doing some soccer. So one team has two wins, three draws, 
and three losses. Okay, so how many total games did this team play? Well, we know they played eight total games. How many wins do they have? Well, they have two wins. Let's compare it to another team. Two wins, two draws, four losses. Both teams played eight games. Both teams also won two games. So in this case here, it's not a good comparison to have um, just comparing their wins because both teams have the same amount of wins. But we know in soccer, the draws give you an extra point. So you'll see in soccer that they're written, like the, the, their records are written something similar to this. Except in soccer, they don't put the two little dots here. Okay, But that's what basically a ratio is. It looks at comparing wins, draws, and losses. Another example, one more example that I'm going to give you today is going to be, well, in our class, for example, the easy example, because we have a split class, grade six to grade seven, we have 16 grade sixes to 10 grade sevens. So we are able to determine through this ratio how many total students are in the class. We know that there are 26 total students in the class. Another one I can give you is, you'll see this a lot in your examples, vowels to consonants. What is that? Well, we all know what a vowel is. Vowel is A-E-I-O-U. And consonants are all the other letters. So if we took the word band and we had to compare vowels to consonants, well, one is a vowel, three are consonants. There are four letters in the word band. If I had to take the word school, there are two vowels here. One, two, three, four consonants. And we know that there's six letters in this word. Okay, we take Canada, three vowels, three consonants. Okay. Even if we took the word ratio, one, two, three, and there's two consonants. So this is our mini lesson on ratios. I will have another video to explain other things about ratios. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.